I know you've done training camp previews on your Locked On Browns podcast. Let's talk about uh, running back. What do you see there? I, obviously, Nick Chubb. <laughs> that's, we see we see that, and that's that's good. <laughs> It's re- it's really crazy the way you look at this room because you can you talk about the Cleveland Browns and you talk about the running back position and the first thing you say is they have the best running back in the NFL. Then the next question you have is they probably have the most uncertainty in the running back room after that. Look, Jerome Ford and it's not a knock on Jerome Ford. You for all those who believe he's going to be good, which I am one of, or anybody who thinks that maybe you know he might not pan out. Eight carries is not going to tell the tale. The old movie, A Few Good Men, it's not about what I know. It's about what I can prove. Nobody can prove anything. Nobody can prove their take, their stance, their point on Jerome Ford to this point. Was he good as a kickoff returner last year? Yes. Limited rushing opportunities didn't really see much. So to think right now that you think going from eight carries to what, 150 touches? That's basically what running back twos usually would get. That's about what Kareem Hunt got last year. Is he ready for that workload? None of us know. It is certainly by far the biggest question as far as the offensive side of the football. As you said, we have two weeks between now and when the Browns go down to Green, Bryan, West Virginia. Is this something that they're going to go through a week or two? And then are they going to start exploring whether or not they're going to bring somebody in? Are they working on it now in hopes of that person joins camp with everybody else? And if it's a veteran and Jerome Ford basically just jumps up, takes the job for his own, you, you move him in one way or another, or he doesn't make the final 53. Um, but it's certainly by far the biggest question for the Browns on the offensive side of the ball is whether or not you know Jerome Ford is ready to take on that role. I have people, when I talk about, well, why wouldn't you look into Ezekiel Elliott or Dalvin Cook, and I have fans, oh, well, what do you do with Jerome Ford? But they're also the same fans who tell me, well, you got to bring in DeAndre Hopkins. But meanwhile, you have two former third-round picks in David Bell and Cedric Tillman who are there, but they're ready to run those guys out of town to bring in DeAndre Hopkins. But I'm a loon for wanting to bring in Dalvin Cook because we have a fifth-round pick you know, there who, who, who should be ready for running back number two. Um, but it's something certainly to consider. Um, and look, a, a lot's on the young man's plate. And you know, We saw Jerome Ford last summer. I thought he played well. I think he showed really well in the summer. It still kind of surprises me that, you know, you know obviously Kareem got his touches. Uh, Dearness Johnson basically didn't. It, it kind of surprises me at some point they didn't say, hey, can we just get a little bit of a look here and you know, see if we have any idea where we think Jerome is as far as getting acclimated. And then there is the whole thought process of basically whatever offense the Browns ran last year is not what they're going to run this year. So basically Jerome Ford's going to, you know, it's verbiage might be the same, but he's transitioning into yet another new offense here in the second year of his career in the NFL. 